You're watching the Fox 8 10 o'clock news with Neil McNeil, Katie Nordine, and Max Weather Chief Meteorologist Van Denton. Tomorrow, the event that captures the Piedmont's attention, unlike none other, will be well underway. And no one will watch the ACC basketball tournament more closely than tonight's newsmaker. David Glenn has been covering the ACC as a journalist for 30 plus years. You get the feeling there aren't many things he'd rather talk about. Happy Friday, everybody, and welcome to the David Glenn Show. Hope your weekend is off to an early and fantastic start. Anywhere you drive in North Carolina, you can hear him. As always, we will have great guests. And for three hours every weekday, this room and those who listen to his statewide syndicated radio show make up David Glenn's world. If you don't stop the stupid stuff, you're going to hurt your team. I love to dream big. I love to prove people wrong. Those are the best players in the ACC, period. I try to save my strongest opinions for the topics that I know the most about. Well, it, you know, it's a flagrant foul when you get caught, and Grayson Allen got caught for one of those and correctly called for one of those. If I was fair, I was relevant, and I was accurate, I'm not going to apologize just because you don't like it. I, I do ask myself those three questions whenever somebody asks me about John Thompson's commentary on Selection Sunday because it is seriously some of the absolute worst. <laughs> Getting to this point where you talk to thousands of people statewide on the radio via this studio every day did not come easy. In fact, Glenn will be the first to tell you he's not a professionally trained broadcaster. He founded the bi-weekly ACC Sports Journal and the website accsports.com after graduating law school in 1994. He practiced law and ran the publications and website for 17 years while at the same time being a frequent contributor to sports talk radio in the Triangle area. Over a period of years, one of the stations that had me on as a guest most frequently asked me if I had ever thought of being a host myself. Right. Okay. And the honest answer was no. But one thing led to another, and now he has the most listened to statewide sports radio show in North Carolina. Every day, he talks about ACC issues, including what he calls its two biggest changes in recent years, money. Coaches are making more than ever. More money's poured into facilities than ever. And the social media effect on players. Today, you could get personally attacked on Twitter and Facebook. The fans who get mad at players who leave early for the NBA. It's incredibly selfish to be mad at a young person making a career and life altering decision simply because or mainly because your favorite team is not going to win as many games the next year. The impending North Carolina NCAA penalties. Those who hate Carolina are going to be mad because the penalties are not large enough. But Carolina fans are probably going to think it's too much as well. So nobody's going to be happy when that verdict comes down. And the tournament moving to D.C. this year and New York City for two years after that. I'm a fan of rotation, but I'm a fan of keeping the super majority of the tournaments in the state of North Carolina. In North Carolina, just like the show he hosts. Enjoy the weekend. We'll see you Monday on the David Glenn Show. As far as things Glenn says to watch in the tournament this week, will the ACC break its own record of seven teams making it, making it into the NCAA tournament? And how far do the two best teams, Carolina and Virginia, go? You can hear Glenn's show live every weekday here in the Piedmont Triad from noon to three on multiple stations, including WSJS in Winston-Salem, WCOG in Greensboro, and WMFR in High Point for a complete listing of stations. Just find this story on MyFox8.com. And be sure to tune in to our ACC Tournament Special. It'll be airing tomorrow night at 7 o'clock right here on Fox 8. We'll have live reports from the tournament in D.C. We'll also be covering many different stories from the tournament and have highlights from the first round. That is tomorrow night at 7 right here on Fox 8.